At the keynote, Apple added 10 brand new features to iOS 5. First up, Apple added a new notification system that allows for all notifications to be in one place and allows for no interruption. Included is a new swipe down feature that reveals notification, weathers, and stocks. iMessage is a new feature that allows for all users with an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to message others with one of those devices. Newsstand is Apple's new magazine store that allows for all automatic updates from the iTunes store. Reminders is a new way to jot down calendar events, to-do lists, and shopping lists, and it can be shared within the cloud to other devices. Twitter was rumored to be at the iOS, and that is exactly what they did with Twitter integration that allows for quick tweets with attached pictures, documents, and projects straight from the OS itself. For the camera, a new button has been added to the lock screen, which allows for easy access to take a picture, and the volume up button on the side of the iPhone is now a shutter button while using the application. For photos, you can now edit, crop, auto-enhance, and remove red eye. For Safari on the iPad, you can use new tab interface that has been added, and for the iPhone and iPad, a new reader interface that removes clutter while reading articles on the internet. When buying a new iOS device, it is no longer needed to sync out of the box. The device comes PC free for update syncing. Multitask gestures has been added to the iPad, which allows for quick multitasking. iOS 5 will be available in the fall and is compatible with the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd Gen and 4th Gen, and both versions of the iPad. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.